Hey Sprouts, during the months of June and July, we will not be having new content here on the Catholic Sprouts podcast. Instead, we will be revisiting some of my favorite weeks of content. And here is one of those weeks. Enjoy! You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, January 30th, 2019. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we have been talking about the theological virtue of love. With the help of St. Thomas Aquinas on Monday, we talked about how the three theological virtues of faith, hope, and love are really so very intertwined. Yesterday, we talked about how the crucifix is the ultimate image of love and how it reminds us that true love requires giving, not getting. Today, we are going to talk about how Jesus Christ broke love into two major parts. Now, in the gospel, people approached him and asked Jesus what the most important commandment was. Jesus answered, and he talked about love. He said that the most important commandment was to love God with your whole mind, your whole heart, and your whole soul. So he said the most important thing that we are called to do is to love God. He quickly added that the second most important thing that we are called to do is to love each other. So according to Jesus, the most important things that we can do above anything else is to find a a way to love God with our entire being and to love every single person that we come into contact with. So today we're going to talk about what it means to love God. What does that mean, actually? Now, this is a question that we will see unfolded throughout our entire life. The most beautiful thing about our relationship with God is that He knows us intimately. He knew us when we were still growing in our mother's womb. He loves us. He cares about us enough to know how many hairs are growing out of our head. It is incredible. Because of this, God gave us each a unique personality, and we each are going to fulfill our calling on this earth in a unique way. And really, although we might be led to do certain things, each of us is called to the same thing, to enter into a loving relationship with God where we give Him everything. Now, I know I've said that before, and it might seem overwhelming. How can I give God everything? I wouldn't be left with anything then. Well, that's not how it works with God. For everything that we give to God, He generously pours out grace toward us in return. So it is a little bit of a hard and mystical thing to explain how we love God, but I'm going to give you some things to think about. First of all, entering into a loving relationship with God requires surrender. And this can be the same as loving a sibling. For example, if you really want to show your brother or sister that you love them, it requires giving in from time to time, letting them play with the toy first, letting them grab the bigger bowl of ice cream without saying anything about it, letting them read the book first that you both grabbed for at the same time. All of those things are tiny acts of surrender, but they can show a person you're with that you love them, that you're willing to give up what you want for what they want. Now, God doesn't worry about such small issues. He's worried about the bigger things. We show God we love him by surrendering our plans for our lives. 
Now, God does not want us to be miserable, and He's not going to stand in the way of all of our plans, but there could be times when it just doesn't seem like something should happen. Things keep coming up or getting in the way, or it just doesn't feel like it should happen. Perhaps that is God telling us that we should go in a different direction. Now, that can be really hard, and sometimes we fight through and we make it happen anyways, But really showing God that we love Him requires listening to Him and sometimes giving in and surrendering what what we want for what He clearly wants. Now, we should never be afraid of loving God. Jesus told us that we need to give God our whole mind, our whole heart, and our whole soul. We should never be afraid that God is going to take too much because I want you to remember something, Sprouts. God loves you more than you can ever imagine. Picture the person that loves you the most in your life, whoever that might be, whether it's your parents, a sibling, a beloved teacher, your grandmother, the person that you are with that you just really know loves you. Well, God loves you about a hundred times more than that person. God cares about you so, so deeply, but he cares about you in the right way. He cares that you are making the right decisions and turning into a good person. So sometimes God can teach us hard lessons, but we need to always remain faithful that God is good and place our hope in him that we will see him in heaven. And so, Sprouts, I have a simple challenge for you today. I simply want you to reflect on these words, to love God with your whole mind, your whole heart, and your whole soul, to let all of your thoughts be focused on God, to let your heart, all that you love, be God. Don't put anything before Him. Love Him first, and to just feel His love spreading through your whole soul. So reflect on those words, to love God with your whole heart, your whole mind, and your whole soul. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. One final word to the grown-ups. Thank you so much for listening to the Catholic Sprouts podcast. I would like to invite you to join a special Facebook group just for those that listen to the Catholic Sprouts podcast. We will use this group to connect, to share resources around that week's theme, and simply celebrate raising future saints. To find the direct link to the Facebook group, simply check the notes for this podcast episode.